Greetings on an even colder morning than when I recorded the videos for, for CV Invert originally. Uh, you may hear some background noise. I have a space heater going. It is very cold. Um, when I posted my video about the CV Invert and the CV Rectify to the Facebook group, I immediately said, whoops, I forgot something. And so this video is intended to to fill in that gap about a particularly important use for the CV invert. Um, and what it is, I've used a little abbreviation here, but it's an end of cycle uh, trigger or uh, uh, signal for on off CV. And when I talk about on off CV, I mean CV that goes from zero to one and back to zero. Um, so you know, for instance, a stomp switch, or uh, a MIDI gate, or a square wave, or a clock divider. And you can use the CV invert to create uh, effects and processes that immediately follow that on-off switch, um, whatever it may be, whatever form it, it takes. And so, one particular use where this is really important, I think, is a CV looper, and particularly a CV looper set up in one-shot mode. So what you can do is use the same stomp switch to record and also send it into a CV invert, and the CV invert goes to the, the playback button. Uh, and so you can, can create a, a situation in which you record a loop and it immediately plays back afterwards, if that's what you're looking for, uh, without having to press another button or, or you know, do something like that. Um, so I'm just going to demonstrate that in the way that I have this set up. It's a simple looper, uh, and I'm using a, a kalimba because I can press the button and play the kalimba at the same time. Um, and then it it's pitched up uh, uh, seven semitones, so a fifth. And so I can play my kalimba. Turn up the volume here a little bit. Play my kalimba. And I can record a loop, and the loop immediately plays back. Um, so this is a, a, a really interesting, you know, way to use the CV invert because it allows you to, to trigger things after you've, you know, used a, a momentary or latching switch or, a, you know, a, an LFO or whatever uh, to do one processy. Um, you can then use the CV invert to do another one. And it doesn't necessarily have to be, uh, you know, a straight... Um, another thing that goes immediately on to off, so it can trigger an ADSR. And I found something interesting while, while preparing for this video. Um, when we use it in this method, the ADSR stays open, and no matter what settings I've set it to, it, it, it won't close until you press the stomp switch again and it goes back uh, to negative one at its input. Um, it's funny, my voice came through the microphone in the kalimba. Uh, and this is a potentially really buggy behavior, uh, but it's also one that we can exploit in some interesting ways. So I'm going to take a quick break, patch something up, and show you what I mean by that. Okay, so what I did was I attached the ADSR to the mix control of a plate reverb, which I biased to zero. And then I took the output of the looper and sent it through the plate reverb to the output. So the looper used to be connected to the output, now it's connected to the, to the reverb. Uh, and I set the looper to loop. And so, let me change the pitch, just a normal pitch. So now when I record the, the looper, 
uh, at the end of the cycle, the, the mix of the reverb will start to rise, uh, but it'll take a little bit of time because I've set in a pretty decent attack here. So we can get an effect sort of like this. set this even longer. So anyhow, you get the idea. Using the CV invert, uh, particularly with these on-off CV sources, and, and it really only works with on-off CV sources. And again, what I mean by that is something that goes from zero to one to zero. Uh, you know, like I said, a stomp switch, a MIDI gate, uh, a, a square wave LFO, clock divider, whatever. Uh, used in conjunction with with some other CV sources uh, you know you can do all sorts of things where you know your your stomp switch does something and then after you've finished doing whatever it is with the stomp switch another effect takes hold um, in conjunction with something like the ADSR you can add timing and fades and all sorts of you know uh, interesting approaches to to using the CV invert as this end of cycle uh, trigger or signal. So I wanted to make sure that I talked about that um, because I think it's a, a really cool and important way to use the, the uh, CV invert. Thank you.